Yeah. I want to make sure that you know why the grid is important. Just a second. I'm going to get. Oh, no, I'm wrong. So Sorry about that. <laughs> OK. Um, <clears throat> I want to remind you of grade three and that picture. What does that picture mean in the grade three world? times three. So two times three can be depicted as an area of six unit squares. That's not a difficult concept for you, right? Okay, then grade four came along and somebody said, let's, give it, let's, let's multiply 13 times 12. And you then went to some grid papers. Remember going to, going to grid paper? And you made something that was 13 wide and 12 high. Does that make sense? And then you might have gone to base 10 tiles uh, or base 10 blocks. Remember those that are yellow yeah. usually? Yeah. And you realize that you could build this by putting a certain square in a certain place. Does anyone know what I'm going to put in this spot right here? What is it? 100. And what am I going to put right there? How many of them? Here I'm going to put two, or 20, and here six units squared. So over here, I, this is my by 12, and this is my by 13 dimension. Okay, um, if I wanted to, and, and maybe this happened in your grade four class, you might have said, we don't have to have a big piece of paper every time. We don't have to have base 10 blocks all the time. Why don't we try this grid? And we realized that through the distributive property, we could also make a symbolic representation of this area model and say that 10 times 10 is 100, 3 times 10 is 30, 10 times 2 is 20, and 3 times 2 is 6. Good enough? And that total would be 156. So we've got grade 3 and grade 4. Then in grade 9, your teacher said, Let's multiply x plus 3 times x plus 4. <coughs> and you knew, you may not have knew really clearly, but you knew that this was x times x is x squared, and 3 times x is 3x, and 4 times x, oh, sorry, that's 2, and 2x, and 3 times 2 is 6, giving a total of? By the way, if we were to take and substitute 10 in for all those numbers, 10 plus 2 is 12. 10 plus, two, 10 plus 3 is 13. We know that 12 times 13 is 156. We just calculated a minute ago. We can do, we'll do this. Okay, 10 squared is 100 plus 50 plus 6. There it is sitting there. Any number we can do, uh, I'll run through this thing for. Then you all, might have also in grade 9 experienced algebra tiles. And I think some of you, I can already hear your cackles. Some of you have bad experiences with them. This particular rectangle looks like that. Does that make sense? Okay. Notice how it maps straight onto this grid. There's the x squared, there's the three x's, there's the two x's, and there's the six. Okay? So what we're going to do right now is try to factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 